Julie? Julie! Careful. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Honey, I'm sorry. How about some sausage instead? Uh, never mind. I'll pick up a donut on the way. Oh, Nick, I need a check. For what? Um... Textbooks. I've got to buy three more textbooks. You're taking one class. You already bought two books. I know, but um, it's special ed. I have to have a book on uh, learning disabilities and child psychology, and then there's this workbook thing. Well, they should supply your books. I know, but they don't. How much? Uh, make it a hundred. Great. I thought we agreed. You would supply the books, the tuition, and the supplies. I already co-signed a $120,000 note with Gordon. If we don't pick up another client in two weeks, we might as well shut our doors. Well, honey, why don't you look at it this way? Once... I'm finished student teaching, and I start working, we'll have two incomes. We've been there before, Julie. You've had 15 years to get your teaching credential. I know, but I really think this time I can do it. I mean, I love my professor and my classes, and I really love the kids. I need this, Nick. Every six months, you need something else. Part-time work in the boutique, a cooking class. Hey, what's the matter with that? You enjoyed the cooking, didn't you? Listen. Oh, never mind. Honey, honey. Come on, when you and Gordon went into business together, you knew it was going to take time. I didn't know it was going to take the house and the car and the, and the bonds. You know what? What? I think you need a break. I think you need something to take your mind off Gordon and the office and everything. Something real... Different. Like what? Like something you haven't done in a long time. Parked. What? We used to have some hot times in the old Chevy, remember? Uh, yeah. Well, we don't have a Chevy anymore, but uh, mm -hmm. we could still drive up to Mulholland some night and make out. Or we could go into the bedroom right now and uh, pretend we're in the Chevy. What do you say? Listen, first of all, um, we're too old for Mulholland. You know, I might get a cramp. And second of all, I'm late. But I'll be home around five to change. And don't forget to pick up my shirts, okay? The change for what? The party, Julie. The one that's going to land us our new client. Look, don't play games, okay? I'm counting on you. Uh, Gordon, honey, could you give your son some lunch money? Nick just pulled up. Okay. I'll see you tonight. You need anything, call. Okay. Dad. Spend it wisely. Thanks. Bye. Bye, Mom. Bye. See you later, Julie. Art. <laughs> oh, Nick was such a hunk. Couldn't keep our hands off each other. Stop it. You're getting me excited. Exactly. We're always excited. Well, excitement like can't last forever. Why not? Well, I, I don't know. I think I read it somewhere. May I say something? Yeah. I'm worried about you. You know, the party tonight is not the first time you've forgotten something. <clears throat> Maybe I'm getting senile, huh? <laughs> I'm serious. You know, you left me standing on the corner of Fairfax and 3rd last week for 45 minutes. I told you that... I got stuck in traffic. You forgot. Something's wrong. It's nothing, really. I, I, I just got a lot on my mind. 
You know, with starting school and everything. It, it's nothing. Hi. Have men always flirted with you? Well, you got a standing ovation. I'm going to do with Content 20. I know, but you were the first, like an astronaut. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, do these now. Father. Very good. Look. Yep. Apple. Eye. Yes. Fast. What, so what is it? Rabbit. That's good. Run. Yep. Airplane. Yep. yep. You know, I really got to give you credit. Oh, why? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was good. Well, at first, I thought... She's gonna raise the curve, you know? I mean, whenever you see an older woman in your class, you know she's gonna raise the curve. Then I thought, no. I hope I'm like that when I'm her age. It must be a real challenge. It's not like discovering the Northwest Passage, you know. All right, let's try these. You guys, Mel and Paul, you great. Hey, I'm out of here. You guys gonna crowd me. Hey, Julie, you want to join us? Oh, you guys, I... oh, I can't. I've got a class. Whatever you say. Bye, Mrs. Atkins. Wait, 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 wait up, you guys. Come on. <laughs> Will it be? Super unlettered, please. Check under the hood. I don't think that'll be necessary. Okay.
and I had another argument today. Seems that we're better friends than partners. Too much pressure. Well, we can always start over. We've got each other. You used to say that's all we needed. That's all we used to have. Hey, how about if uh, we're late to the party? How about if uh, we're late on the mortgage payment? Come on. Nice perfume. The fact is, Harold, that uh, Gordon and I, we can sell just about anything. We're not choosy about what we represent. But we have been known to sell out. Price is right. <laughs> well, uh, I'm not a big account gentleman, but, uh, you know, a 10 pizza ball is, does not an ad agency make. But uh, if you want my business, uh, it's yours. Mm, thank you. <laughs> what do you say? We got it. We got the pizza thing. Oh, I love it. <laughs> There's this one little boy. He's dyslexic. And last week, he read a whole paragraph without making one mistake. Now, that's a big deal for a kid like that. Those are the kind of kids I really want to work with, you know? You spend three and four hours a day with them. You begin to see the changes that take place, and it's Nick, really very sad. I got this idea for uh, that you just can't eat one slice campaign. Got mm -hmm. a pen? Uh, no, I don't. Let me show you this. Maybe a special chosen. Mm -hmm. Big for a special campaign. Maybe two. interested in what we do, are they? No, Julie, don't start. There's a lot riding on tonight. They just don't care. Nobody ever asks you or me or anybody's wife. Hi. What do you do? Do they? going on not now Emily. okay right now you're standing in there with water running all over the floor you're not even noticing where were you i don't know if i i can explain it i, I just start dreaming sometimes the dream's standing up no don't you ever fantasize what do you mean fantasize? I mean, don't... Don't you ever... Don't you ever have them? Of course. 
course not. Emily, you're my best friend. Don't let me down. Not now. You talking sexual? Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. Romantic. Do you ever wish that your fantasies were real? No. Do you? Yeah. And sometimes I can't even control them. Julie, why don't you do something about it? What? You know, I can... I can listen to you, but I can't help you. Why don't you talk to someone? I've never been to, to a psychiatrist before. I don't really know why I'm here. We all have problems, don't we? I mean, we, we couldn't live as long as we've lived and not have some kind of problems. It's true. A am I supposed to go on? Uh, I I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to expect. It might be a better idea if I came back after I've thought this through a little bit more. Give me one word that tells me why you're here. What? You don't seem to know what to say. I'm trying to make it easier for you. One word. <sighs> Frightened. Of what? fantasies and I know everybody has fantasies I, I know that it's not just kids that daydream but you're frightened what frightens you I almost had an accident it seems like sometimes they want to take over have they no 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 Julie when someone comes to see me, and I have many just like you, it's usually because they fear the fantasy will become a reality. Oh, I know the difference between fantasy and reality, for heaven's sake. You and Nick, you met in high school. Mm-hmm. What was he like then? What were you like? We were perfect. <laughs> no. But everybody used to call us Ken and Barbie. Julie, when you were in high school and college, others saw you and your husband as fantasy. You did too. Now you're in your mid-30s, grown up, and you're frightened. What frightens you, fantasy or reality? You know, when we fantasize or daydream, it's a means of escape. You have to decide for yourself what you're trying to escape from. You know, I, <clears throat> I think that, that this is probably just not the kind of thing that, I, that is right for me. I'm sorry. Thank you, Doctor. Julie.
dreams sure seem old, don't they? doing? I thought we were going to relax. I can't. Well, of course you can. Why can't you? Don't nag, Emily, okay? I love you. I'm nagging. Look, Julie, why don't you just forget about school and your books, gardening? What happens if you just sit? Julie, don't you have everything? What more could you want? When you have a great husband, you have a beautiful house on the best street in town. Julie. I'm scared. I'm just scared of me.
Julie. Oh. Julie. I'm Mrs. Atkins. <laughs> Kathy, call me Julie, please. Where are you two off to? Library. Yeah, not much fun, huh? Well, I don't know. It depends on which floor of the library you go to. You know what I mean? <laughs> See you later. Yeah, I've got a distant recollection. Come oh, on, you one on one. Tell me about it. Come on, one on one. Come on, let's pig out. I'm starving over there. Come on, come on. We're gonna get in a lot of trouble if I keep following this close. Well, maybe you want to pass me then. I'd rather get in trouble. Look, I'll pull out in front and you do what you feel like doing.
Honey, I'm in here. I'm sorry I'm late. I'll have dinner ready in just a minute. Attacking zone, he goes right, dinks, lets it back to Sawyer on left wing, shot on goal! Rebounds, grab, back in traffic, kept coming around, there has the game maker, he shoots, score! Emily, what would you do if... What? What would you do if you thought Gordon was having an affair? Are you saying Nick's having an no. affair? No, 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 I, I was just wondering what you'd do. Would you divorce him? I don't know. I, I guess it would depend on if he was having an affair or just sleeping with someone. I guess. <laughs> you think there's a difference? I don't know. Maybe. really great blueberry muffins today. Why don't I go and make a pot of tea and we can light a fire and sit and talk for a while? Hmm? Julie. Don't you remember? We used to do that all the time. We'd sit up all night talking sometimes. Come on, couldn't we? Go to sleep. Jane, come on, come on, you join us over here. That's right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. bothering you, Julie? Oh, uh, no. Sorry. This is not your recess, Julie. As a student teacher, you're responsible for these kids in and out of the classroom know, during school hours. I know that. I'm, I'm sorry. So am I. Damn it, Julie, I just stopped two of your kids from running into the street. Are they all right? It wasn't Sandy, was it? He's fine. They're both all right. Look, this isn't the first time... I've observed you in class. You can be wonderful and caring. You stimulate these kids, and they like you. But sometimes, I don't know where the hell you are. Julie, it's not 
just this failed test. In the past six weeks, you've gone from one of my best students to... Did you bother to read the material? Yes. I did. I tried. What about what happened in the schoolyard the other day? I'm really sorry about that. It was just a moment when I didn't know when I did... That's all it takes. Julie, either you get your act together or you get out. Pizza Haven. It's over in Highland. There's no Pizza Haven on Highland. You're kidding. <sighs> Pizza Haven was a tradition. Everybody went there. Nick and I used to go every Saturday night. He, he proposed to me there. In a pizza joint? Pizza Haven was like, like our brown derby. And please, don't you dare ask me what a brown derby is. <laughs> We had our own table, ordered the same thing all the time. Everybody knew us. It was, it was great. Oh, it's 300 times you think it would sink in by now. Maybe you're not cut out for it. What? Somebody did not just cut out for it, that's all. I'm not talking about becoming president here, Nick, you know? You do some things terrific. You'll stick with what you know how to do. Okay, Betty Crocker, make yourself useful. Need some help? No. Thanks. Never mind. Listen, I'm missing a sales presentation. Will you check the desk? A what? A sales presentation. It's for the NAP account. I had it this morning. All right. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can find it. Hold on. Nick, 
I, I don't see it. Are you sure? I can swear. If it was there, Nick, I'd tell you. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll take another look at it. I'll call you back. Okay. I'm glad you came back. Me too. Last time I was here, you told me I wasn't the only patient you had like me. I'm feeling so alone. You're not. You're in very good company. What's wrong with me? You want a label. I read labels very well. You know it's more complex. Fine, but in the meantime, how do I survive? I mean, it's, the fantasies used to be private. They didn't used to interfere with my life. No. They are my life. I try to stop them. I try to control them. And I just feel like I'm going downhill faster and faster, and I can't stop. You can. You want to. Otherwise, you would never have called me. Do you trust me? Yes. I'm going to ask you a rather difficult question. Do you trust Nick? Yes, of course. Then why haven't you told him any of this? Because I... He wouldn't understand. I don't even understand. You said earlier that you feel rather alone, and yet you've been married some... What? Fifteen years. Do you love him? Yes, I do. What do you think he would do if you told him? I don't know. If he loves you, he would try to help you, wouldn't he? I'm afraid. Afraid? Afraid of the man that you've lived with most of your life? No, I'm not afraid of him. Afraid of losing him? Nick is all I've got. He's all I've ever had. And why can't you talk to one another? Are you handsome? Well, what do we got here? Well, what we have here is a fabulous dinner for you. Free to stimulate the appetite. Lamb chops, asparagus hollandaise, and... Uh, Anchovies, which I know are your favorite, but it's tough to make a meal out of anchovies. Hmm. Oh, it's perfect. Is it? Hmm. What about me? Well, I haven't tasted you yet. <laughs> well. Well, I have to have more of both before I make my final decision. Oh. <laughs> What's the occasion here? I just thought we ought to rekindle the fire. Yeah. There's still a spark, isn't there? Well, there certainly is a flicker worth working on. This beats the old Chevy any day, doesn't it? Yeah. 
To. It's about the whole nap thing. Nick, don't. Please. Oh, I got to. Juliet's business. I got to. Hello? Yeah, fine. No, we were just sitting around. Uh-huh. We'll just have the guy do the drawings, you know, and then uh, we'll put together the present. All right. We'll just put that together and then, then show it to the guy. That's all. sales presentation. It was sitting on the desk, face up, in plain view. It couldn't have been. I certainly couldn't find it. Well, there was nothing else on the desk. Did you even bother to look for it? Of course I did. Look, forget about it, will you? If you knew how much these lamb chops cost, you wouldn't want to spoil Stop it. I'm not talking about a damn school report. We needed these today. I asked you a simple favor. I'm sorry. I just couldn't find it. You didn't look. You couldn't have looked. What the hell's going on with you? Nick, please... What? Do you know how important this is? You know how much depends on this? What about us? Aren't we important? You're the one who forgot the damn report! Let's not fight. Please. Not tonight. We can fight tomorrow. We can fight all week if you want to, but please, not tonight. What are you doing? 
I have to fly to San Francisco in the morning. Why? Gord and I set up a meeting with Stanley Knapp. Nick. I'm sorry we fought before. How long will you be gone? Through the weekend. Through the weekend? Mm -hmm. well, that's five days. I know. What am I supposed to do for five days? Emily will be around. You got classes, studies. Could I go with you? You can't. Gordon and I are taking one room, twin beds. If you go, Emily will want to go. And we can't afford it. But, Nick, I... It's only five days. What can possibly happen in five days? Excuse me, ma'am. Marsha, come on! Ma'am. I'm withdrawing. to be a nice, friendly game. Well, beat the hell out of me today. Trying to prove something? Oh, no, it's nothing personal. Well, let's get personal. Why'd you quit? No, Emily, not today. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining, and I did beat the socks off you. Why? You know, I can't remember seeing anybody as excited as you about opening a book, being with those kids. You loved school. Loved the thought of becoming a teacher. And what was it? Just a fantasy to you? Look, maybe I just wasn't comfortable with, with being a little blue-haired old lady running around the campus clutching her books, <sighs> pretending she was 18 again. Julie, blue hair you ain't got. I can't explain it to myself. Don't ask me to explain it to you. Would you talk to me? Maybe I can help. Julie, we used to talk about things. Julie, you know I can keep a secret. I don't think anybody can help me. Now, if we stick to this approach, you know, abandon the image of five years ago. Nick, stop selling. We're sold. Go home, do it.
give to be where she is right now. He already gave it. Just wait till after graduation. Things are so cool. It'll all be over by the time they're 30. Listen, champ, we came, we conquered, we're home a day sooner than we figured, and we can still catch the 8 o'clock plane. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Mount up, let's ride. <clears throat> daylight. I'd love to. Why does it surprise you so much when a man tells you you're beautiful? <laughs> insecure, I guess. He wasn't paying much attention to you, was he? Your husband that night in the restaurant, Do not for what... <laughs> Would you like something to drink? Wouldn't even look at the man as he left. He just stood there looking right past me as though I didn't even exist. <laughs> <laughs> 
What did you expect him to do? <sighs> I don't know. You've been preparing for this for some time now. Look, I don't have control over my life you anymore. You are I... in control right now, Julie. You were in control when you took this man back to your house. You've been going out of your way to make Nick find out. First, you bring home the matchbook with the telephone number. Then you bring home the man, knowing full well that Nick could be coming home at any time. You would have been bringing home men until Nick found out. No. It's, it's the fantasies. You still think we're dealing with fantasies? Have you ever read a romance novel? Yeah, of course. They're pretty wonderful, aren't they? For about two hours. You finish it. You close the book. It's over. You can't close the book, Julie. You're a very attractive woman. And since men find you attractive, you have every opportunity to live out your fantasies. But you've got to face one very important fact. And that is, in so doing, you not only threaten your marriage, but your life. My life. Well, think about it. You have disease, blackmail. He can attack you. Every time you enter a room with a strange man, you're threatening your life, Julie. Are you trying to kill yourself? Maybe I am. Julie, many of my patients, men and women, are more frightened of marriage today than they were the day they wed. Partners, they stop talking to one another. They stop listening to one another. Two people so terrified of confronting relationships that they end up destroying them. I want to save my marriage. I want to save me if I can. might have time to have a cup of coffee. Oh, uh, oh, I can't. Uh, I'll call you later. Will you? Will I what? Call me. Talk to me. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. What kind of answer is that? An honest one. Which is a hell of a lot more than you've been with me lately. What do you want me to say, Emily? The truth. All right. Why don't we sit down and have a cup of coffee? And I'll tell you how I spend my mornings. Scared to death. Scared of being alone. Scared of not filling every waking hour with something to do. Scared of what I might do. Would you understand that? You were everything to him. Everything. Nick is one of the finest people I've ever known. He was good and he was honest. And asked to a prince, right? And we were the perfect couple. Well, I thought so. I am sorry as hell to have disappointed you, Emily. Do you ever have deep, dark thoughts that you wouldn't dare tell anyone that you, that you can't even control? But we're talking about hurting people. People who trust you, who love you. Are you angry with me because of what I did? Or because I didn't tell you about it? I don't know. Emily. I love you. And I love Nick. It's me I don't like. Don't leave me alone. Please.
Yes. shortly before I was born. He came back to visit me once when I was um, about 15, calling me his little princess. He never even spoke to my mother. She'd gotten fat. But I think he loved her once. When they were married, then later, she just became the mother of his children. And he got tired of her. You think your father left your mother because of you? I think I changed things for them. I think they were probably happy when it was just the two of them, and then they... grew up. I, uh... went to bed with another man. And I lay there and wished I was dead. Well, there was that one ad on the bulletin board that said, learn to surf. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever surfed? Yeah. Nick? Last mile. Nick? Please, just a minute. I'll see you. Nick, I... I know what you're thinking. I know how you're feeling. Do you now? Well, tell me. I'd like to hear your perspective. 
All I'm trying to say... What? That I should give you another chance? No. Give us another chance. I love you. I'd give you anything. I have, including my love. And that's the one thing I thought I could count on from you. You can count on me, Nick. You really can. As long as I stand in line? Nick, don't. How many men were there? You know, I thought there was one, and I thought maybe I could handle that. But you're on a roll, Julie. Was I that bad? It's not the sex, Nick. Oh, well, that makes it all right, then. What the hell do you take me for? What do you take me for, I'll Nick? be damned if I know anymore. Nick, please, just listen to me a minute. Or... Nick, wait a minute, please, let me... Are you still seeing Dr. Dalton? Oh, yeah. It seems Dr. Dalton and I are inseparable these days. Nick's filed for divorce. He's going to get his stuff tonight and doesn't want me to be there. What are you going to do? Well, I figure I've got a couple of choices. I could have Scarlet A branded on my chest and go through life wearing turtlenecks. I could let him get away without talking about it, not be there when he shows up. Or? I can go out fighting. Make the whole damn thing as painful as possible in the hopes that maybe something can be salvaged. Good. we agreed we did i broke the agreement you've gotten into quite a habit of that haven't you i'll come back Nick, later don't go please i just want to get my things and get the hell out of here nick not a word just shut up I'm sorry. What the hell do you want me to say? Apology accepted? That's all right. Let's just forget about it. I do love you, you know. Who the hell believes it, Julie? Who the hell needs it? Look, before it's too late, let's Before it's too late! Down. Before it's too late! What do you think we got here? A grace period? How many? How long? How often? I'm your husband, and now you want to talk to me? Well, I'll be damned if I want to talk to you. I'll be damned if I want to hear one word out of your mouth. Stop, I want to please. kill you. Like you did to me. I want you to feel the pain that I feel. I don't. No! Not even close. Not even close. I don't want any of it. Just throw it away. Give it away, I don't care. Nick, I needed you. You knew where I was. 
We don't know where either one of us are anymore. We stopped looking a long time ago. You think you've been cheated. So why? Don't you understand that? No! You're gonna listen to me. Six years old. And I don't know what I am. Or what I do. Or even what I'm supposed to do. I thought you'd tell me. I come home. And I find you in bed with another man. Find out it's not the first time. Or the last. Wait, let me finish. And you stand there and you tell me how much you're suffering. I don't care. I'm trying to tell you something about myself. Something that I'm just now learning. Something that might help you understand. I understand perfectly. You made a joke out of my life and our marriage. I'm scared to drive down the street at night. I'm scared I'm going to see my wife on the corner. Wait a minute. Let me finish. And you stand there and tell me you want to talk. What? What do you want to do? Talk to me, but shack up with other men? I've been faithful to you, Julie. I've supported you. I've loved you. If we you. loved each other so much, if we cared for each other so much, how could this have happened? How could I have done it? And how could you have been surprised? Don't you remember how we said we'd never go to our reunion? Not the... Fifth, not the fifteenth, certainly not the twentieth. I wanted to be the boy wonder. Did you know that? Yes. First kid out of the gate, the one with a corner office, the first with the, the title. It took me fifteen years to figure out I couldn't afford the house I was living in. I have this horrible feeling we died. Fifteen years ago. <sighs> oh, but we were the best at what we were, weren't we? We were the best. The fact is that... The fact is that I was a failure. I needed you to remind me of who I was. What my thoughts... To where I couldn't control them anymore. I was scared to tell you. I've always been scared I was nothing without you. And when the passion stopped between us, there was nothing left for me. So I started noticing other men. me the way you, you you used to look at me and I thought well it's all right you could still be someone's prize someone's trophy when you don't do anything with your life the fantasies become your I love you. 
Do I miss things the way we wanted them to be? decision he has to make. You have no control over it. Maybe you shouldn't. Maybe the reasons for our being married no longer exist. It's a possibility. Is it possible to love someone that you don't really know anymore? It's easy to say you don't know someone and use it as an excuse to run away. The fact is that you do know each other. What you have to decide is whether you want to know more about each other. I do. I am. Uh, oh. No promises. No promises. Shall I uh, sit? That's as good a place to start as any. <laughs> <laughs> 